Joseph Lee Green born 1931, is an American science fiction author and a charter member of the Science Fiction Writers of America. He is a prolific short story author best known for his novel Gold the Man. His work has been translated into German, Italian, Spanish, French, Polish and Dutch. Biography <inaudible> 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 Green was born in 1931. He received his B.A. from the University of Alabama and has variously worked as a mill hand, construction worker and a supervisor for Boeing. His chief employment was in the American Space Program for which he worked for 37 years, retiring from NASA as Deputy Chief of the Education Office at Kennedy Space Center. His specialty was the preparation of NASA fact sheets, brochures and other such publications for the general public, in which complex scientific and engineering concepts were explained in layman's language. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic: Novels. The Loafers of Refuge, 1965. Gold the Man, also known as The Mind Behind the Eye, 1971. Conscience Interplanetary, 1972. The Horde, 1976. Star Probe, 1976. Topic. Short fiction collections An Affair with Genius, London, Victor Gollinch Ltd. 1969 Contains Gin. The Decision Makers. Once Around Arcturus. The Engineer. Single Combat. Life Force. An Affair with Genius. Tunnel of Love. And Dance of the Cats. Topic short fiction The Engineer, New Worlds SF, February 1962. Once Around Arcturus, Worlds of If, September 1962. Initiation Rites, New Worlds SF, April 1962. The Colonist, New Worlds SF, August 1962. Life Force, New Worlds SF, November 1962. Transmitter Problem, New Worlds SF, December 1962. The Fourth Generation, Science Fiction Adventures, Volume 5, No. 30, 1962. The Old Man in the Mountain, New Worlds SF, June 1963. The Fight on Hurricane Island, Argosy, British Edition, June 1963 Refuge, New Worlds SF, July 1963. Single Combat, New Worlds SF, July-August 1964. Haggard Honeymoon, with James Webbett, New Writings in SF1, Dobson Books, London, 1964. The Creators, New Writings in SF2, Dobson Books, London, 1964. The Decision Makers, Galaxy, April 1965. Whaler's Wife, Inklings, Spring, 1965 Chippewa Junior College, Mariana, Fla, Tunnel of Love, New Worlds SF, Volume 48, No. 146. Dance of the Cats, New Worlds SF, Volume 49, No. 157. Treasure Hunt, New Writings in SF5, London, Dobson Books, 1965. Birth of a Butterfly, New Writings in SF10, London, Dobson Books, 1967. Death of a Young Musician, Mike Shane Mystery Magazine, August 1967. Gin, Galaxy, December 1968. When I Have Passed Away, New Writings in SF15, London, Dobson Books, 1969. An Affair with Genius, Fantasy and Science Fiction, March 1969. The Shamblers of Misery, Fantasy and Science Fiction, August 1969. Death and the Sensperience Poet, New Writings in SF17, London, Dobson Books, 1970 Wrong Attitude, Analogue, February 1971. 
The Crier of Crystal, Analogue, October 1971. The Butterflies of Beauty, Fantasy and Science Fiction, June 1971. First Light on a Darkling Plain, New Writings in SF-19, London, Dobson Books, 1971 One Man Game, Analogue, February 1972. The Seventh Floor, Eternity Magazine No. 1, July 1972. Three Tall Man, Analogue, August, 1972. The Dwarfs of Swergwelt, Worlds of If, June 1972. Robustus Revisited, Fantasy and Science Fiction, April 1972. A Custom of the Children of Life, Fantasy and Science Fiction, December 1972. Let My People Go, The Other Side of Tomorrow, New York, Random House, 1973. The Bird Lover, Showcase, Harper and Row, New York, 1973. Space to Move, The New Mind, Macmillan, New York, 1973 The Waiting World, Future Kin, New York, Doubleday & Co., 1974. A Star is Born, Fantasy and Science Fiction, February 1974. Jaybird's Song, Fantasy and Science Fiction, December 1974. Walk Barefoot on the Glass, Analog, March 1974. A Death in Coventry, Dystopian Visions, Englewood Cliffs, N.J., Prentice Hall, 1975. Encounter with a Carnivore, Epoch, New York, Berkeley Publishing, 1975 Last of the Chauvinists, Fantasy and Science Fiction, November 1975. Weekend in Hartford, Dude, September 1975. Jeremiah, Born Dying, Odyssey Vol. 1 No. 1, Spring, 1976. To See the Stars That Blind, with Patrice Milton Fantasy and Science Fiction, March, 1977. An Alien Conception, Nugget, June 1977. The Wind Among the Mindemons, with Patrice Milton Fantasy and Science Fiction, December 1978. The Speckled Gantry, with Patrice Milton Destinies, Ace Books, 1979. Gentle Into That Good Night, Analog, July 1981. Still Fall the Gentle Rains, Rigel, Fall 1981. Easied, with Patrice Milton Fantasy and Science Fiction, May 1982. And Be Lost Like Me, Analog, June 1983. At the Court of the Chrysoprase King, Rigel, Spring 1983. Raccoon Reaction, Analog, September 1983. The Ruby Wand of Azrazel, World of Ithkar Series, Berkeley Books, 1985. With Conscience of the New, with Patrice Milton Analog, February 1989, plus Plague Ship, Aberrant Dreams, Autumn 2006. Plus Turtle Love, Welcome to the Greenhouse, Original Anthology, February 2011. Taylor's Slope, Perihelion Science Fiction, February 2013. Curfew Tolls the Parting Day, with Shelby Vick, Perihelion Science Fiction, May 2013. Mortality, Eternity. Perihelion Science Fiction, January 2014. The Trailing Skies for Vestment, with Shelby Vick, Perihelion Science Fiction, April 2014, plus A Killing in Kind, Fictionvale, third issue, about June 2014. Stolen Dreams, with R. M. Lillian, Perihelion Science Fiction, May 2015. Play Sweetly, in Harmony, The Last Dangerous Visions, not yet published. Topic articles Countdown for Surveyor, Analog, March 1967. The Bugs That Live at Minus 423 Degrees, Analog, January 1968. Manufacturing in Space, Analog, December 1970. Skylab, Analog, March and April 1972, plus Kennedy Space Center Will Give You a Lift, Odyssey January, February 1979. The E-Zines, Destiny or Disaster, SFWA Bulletin Spring 2002, plus Our Five Days with John W. Campbell, SFWA Bulletin, Fall 2006, plus Three Days with Lee Brackett and Edmund Hamilton, New York Review of SF, November 2009.